Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for participating in the vote that we made a few days ago on this channel. Moving forward, there's going to be more videos about tips to improve our experiences. And I'm going to try and have interviews with other people who have many experiences with the gateway tapes. So this, this video is about trying to share some ideas to better improve your experiences. So I'm going to include timestamps to make it easier for you to follow along or skip anything that you already know. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is what can we do if the tapes in general are not working? If we have trouble making any tape work, most of the tape work. Something that could help is that you should try to extend your preparation phase. That means before we get into focus 10 or focus 12 or any focus level with the tape every step we do before is we feel it the re we have to extend the relaxation phase so before you reach the point in the tape where you have to go to the focus level before that you should already be c completely relaxed the preparatory steps like uh, the energy conversion box the resonant energy balloon the, these should be all, each one should feel it before moving on to the actual tape. Or before you start the tape, you should maybe take five minutes to relax yourself before you even start the tape. So relaxing is very important to make the tapes work. Also, the way you breathe makes a difference if you could reach a real state of relaxation. Example, you should be taking deep breaths, not short, small breaths or fast breaths, S slow, deep breaths. And something really important that I do, I breathe with my st into my stomach, not into my chest. So when I breathe in, my, my stomach uh, inflates, not my chest. So I do my best to breathe in into my stomach, not into my chest. There is a big difference with this. Something else, guys, if you, the, t the tapes don't work for you, is to let go of expectations. Ex expectations create a mental block, a mental res resistance that's going to stop you from reaching deep levels of relaxation. And also, if the tapes don't work for you, try changing your body position or try changing the time of the day or try changing the environment like if you're doing it in your room maybe try a different room or try outside or you try a different body position or time of the day also we're not supposed to eat or have coffee <clears throat> at least an hour before the tape so no caffeine and no food to have better experiences the preparatory steps the steps we do before we do a tape like before we get into a focus level they have a purpose. They're meant to create the right environment for us to succeed. So you should really try to make sure everything works before you do a focus level. You need to make sure that the energy conversion box works. So by the time you finish with the energy conversion box, you are worry-free. You are not distracted. F for me, one way I know that I'm ready, guys, when I'm doing the energy resonant balloon, okay, at, one, at some point, when I'm doing it, after when I'm doing it and, and it's ready, I feel that nobody can distract me. No, even if somebody walks in and sees me and tries to interrupt me, I will react very calmly. I will not be embarrassed of what I'm doing. That feeling is when I know I, I am ready to move on. Because that feeling means I am not distracted. Nothing takes away my focus. So. When, I'm do, when I finish the energy balloon and I feel very well, my energy is very well protected, that's when I know I'm ready. So that's one way you can know if you're ready to move to a focus level. So if you have trouble getting into focus 10, that means difficulty leaving your body asleep but mind awake. Okay, so a technique that works really well is doing a progressive muscle relaxation. So what that means is that when you're, you, when you're breathing deep and trying to reach focus 10, you are focusing on one muscle at a time and making sure it relaxes. You relax one muscle at a time. That means it's not tensed up. 
okay guys that includes muscles like your eye muscles your tongue muscle your neck muscles your fingers your 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 back all of these muscles are included focus on each one of them make sure they're asleep you'd be surprised how much muscle we leave tensed up because we don't we don't have that awareness so include the muscles of your eyes of your cheeks of your tongue your lips each one of these make sure it's relaxed and not tensed up before moving on to the next one and before you know it you won't be able to move your body but you're awake good luck so fo focus 12 is maybe a bit more difficult but if you could do focus 10 you should be able to do focus 12 because you already created the right environment to make sure that it could work so focus 12 there's two ways that could help to make sure that you reach that level one way is to visualize and try to feel energy flowing through your body <clears throat> going around your body and you try to feel that energy like you actually feel it going around your body that is a sign that you are in focus 12 if you can do that okay the other one the one that i do more often the one that's more easier for me is that when i'm doing the countdown to reach focus 12 at the same time i'm imagining i'm going up a really fast elevator or taking off on a plane or going up in a roller coaster feelings that mimic that sensation of going up but i'm not actually moving but i feel that i am when i'm doing the countdown i feel that i'm going up a very fast elevator but what i'm trying to mimic is me in the energy resonant balloon going in up to the galaxy up into space I am trying to mimic that sensation without actually moving. That's what works for me, guys. And when I'm in Focus 12, there's a big difference in how I feel and how I'm thinking. I know there's a big difference between Focus 10 and Focus 12. If you're still having trouble getting into Focus 10 or Focus 12, maybe share with us your specific situation in the comment below. And I'm sure me or someone with the, from the community can provide you with something specific to your situation manifestation if you feel that your manifestations are not working or maybe you might be doing them wrong i'm going to try and provide some tips to maybe make it easier for you so first of all manifestation to be honest works better in focus 12 or focus 15 okay it's much easier to manifest in focus 12 or focus 15 because of the type the kind of state that we're in focus 10 is good but it's not enough. It's not enough to really be totally concentrated into man the manifestation. Focus 12 and focus 15 are better to do manifestation, okay? So, which, first of all, before you do the tape, you should already have a clear desire and, and goal in mind of what you want to manifest, okay? Before you do a tape, you already know what your manifestation is. And then when you're doing the tape, your, your job, is to, to, to try to make the scene as vivid as possible. Try to make that manifestation as vivid as you can. As much, when you're doing, when you're in focus 12 or focus 15 and you're trying to manifest, you have to visualize as realistic as possible. All the small details, even how you feel at the moment when you realize that what you asked for happened how are you going to feel and guys don't worry about the how don't try to control how you're going to, to reach that manifestation that will only create a resistance with the universe how is is not up to you okay do not try to control the how that's very important you want you have a goal but you're not trying to, 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 to manifest how it happens. You're trying to manifest what happens, okay? You, you know, there's a, a famous saying, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's funny how things work. There, there are many sayings like that. Oh, funny how things work out, or funny how things work. L let go of, of, of trying to decide how your manifestation happens. Th this kind of resistance interferes with the process, with the flow of, of how it's going to happen, which will make it much harder to achieve. So really, don't, don't try to control the how, trust the process. And something else that could help with manifestation is the energy bar tool. This is one of, 
this is probably my favorite tool and it's very powerful and versatile many things we can do with it in this case of manifestation we use this tool to guide our energy in the right way so before i manifest right before i, I am going to what i do is i use my energy bar tool i activate it and i use it kind of like a telescope okay my energy bar tool it's a bar and i'm looking through it i put i put one end here and I'm looking through it, through my energy bar tool. It makes it much easier for me to focus on the right realistic details and guide my energy and not to be distracted. The focus I have when I do manifestation with energy bar tool is crazy. So focused, you won't get distracted. So the energy bar tool is a great tool that helps guide energy. Focus energy on the right things, the right energy on the right things, okay? This part is about sharing tips to improve out-of-body experiences or astral projection. You know how for manifestation I said we don't really sh we sh shouldn't use focus 10, more like focus 12 and focus 15. For OBE and astral projection, focus 10 is probably the best focus level to successfully do an out-of-body experience. Focus 10 makes the the transition and separation much easier. In focus 10. I'm going to share with you a technique that is the most common one to work. The most common technique that works for people trying to achieve an out-of-body experience is imagining a rope above them and they are trying to climb that rope out of their body. That is the method that is most likely to work for people, okay? There are many methods you can try throughout the tapes, but that is one way that works for many people. The objective of this rope technique or any other technique is to try and loosen your connection to your physical body. So you are going to try and move out of your body by activating your muscles. You could try to activate some of your muscles for this, but you're not actually moving but you're trying to create that you're trying to loosen your 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 you're trying to loosen yourself to your body so you're going to try and, and just move around without actually moving until you feel that you, you you actually moved out of your body if you feel vibrations or buzzing that is the sign that you are very close to having an out of body experience that is when you need to try to amplify those vibrations or sensations that is, this is not the moment to get excited or scared. Save those emotions for before or after the tapes. Many people reach the stage of vibrations and the separation of their body, but they get excited or scared and they come back right again to their body and it's going to be very difficult to, to do it. You cannot, it's not the moment to get excited or, or, or scared. The first time it really happened to me, Okay, I did feel a bit like weird, like what's going on? It's actually happening, but I, I wasn't emotional. I think because I, I did the tape right. I did the steps in the right order that I wasn't being distracted. I wasn't going to, to, to break my, my experience because I, I created the right environment to succeed. So yeah, it's normal to maybe feel a bit weird, but it has to be very controlled. and. Like, prepare yourself before doing a tape, okay? If you're close, don't get too excited. Or if you do it, don't, 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 don't fear. Don't have fear. It will break your experience. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that before you do the, the OBE and while you're doing the OBE, your heart rate has to be the same. Your heart rate shouldn't change before and after. That is one way to try to explain to you how to created the right environment to, to have an, a separation. So guys, I hope some of the information was helpful and I'll be making more, more videos like this as I get, I receive more information that can help you. The main thing is to not be distracted when you're doing a tape, to really be focused and making sure every step works before you do the next one, that every tape works before doing the next tape. Okay, maybe some tapes don't work if you try it a couple of times, but don't just skip a tape because each tape is like a, the foundation that you need to successfully do the next tape. And in each tape, you know, at the beginning, the, the preliminary steps that we spoke about, 
each one has to work before doing a focus level. If one doesn't work, just focus on that, okay? Spend your time focusing on what doesn't work, okay? I I'm going to be honest with you. Every, every time I do a tape, to this day, I'm, I'm on wave five and I'm, I still do this. Every tape in the beginning, I rewind like five minutes. It's never enough for me. The, the tape's time is never enough for me to get into the real relaxed and state. Every, every tape I do, I rewind the beginning by five minutes to make sure I've created the right environment. <clears throat> I hope this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or concerns, let us know in the comments below. I'll talk to you soon and good luck.